So for the longest time, it was illegal for licensed dealers and gun stores to sell a handgun to anyone under the age of 21. Now they could sell them a rifle, but they couldn't sell them a handgun. Now you ask why a handgun? Well, the law is pretty damn old, and the idea was that it's harder to conceal a rifle than a pistol. And this law was passed during a time where a lot of people between the ages of 18 and 20 hunted. So they wanted to make it so that the people who fall into that age range can hunt. I personally think the reasoning behind this law is moronic, and thankfully, so did the U.S. District Chief Justice Thomas S. Klee, who ruled that banning licensed dealers from selling handguns to literal adults is unconstitutional. What else should be unconstitutional is not taking advantage of the holiday sale at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com. You see, right now, my favorite over-the-ear hearing protection is 15% off when you use the code EARPRO, and you get 20% off your new premium embroidered hoodies like this need money for pew pew design and all the other designs we have in those hoodies when you use the code Get Gun Now. So after this video, Click the link in the description section to take advantage of the holiday sale while supplies last. Now, this ruling now means starting now, that's a lot of nows, 18 to 20 year olds can now buy handguns from a gun store or licensed dealer. But also keep in mind the Department of Justice can and will most likely appeal the decision because, well, gun control. They literally argue that people in this age group are not adults, but somehow they're adult enough to drive, sign contracts, fight in the military and die, get married, pay taxes, but not adult enough to protect their lives. Yeah, that makes a whole lot of sense. And, and miss me with the whole, you can't drink until you're 21 argument. Drinking is a privilege. Being able to protect yourself with the firearm is literally a constitutional right. So keep in mind, these are the same people who are currently trying to ban the same age range from owning a rifle as well. If they had it their way, these same adults who have a family and a home will have no way to protect themselves. And people of this age range aren't exactly bawling out of control to live behind gated communities. So they're likely living in places where the crime rate is higher and they would need that protection the most. The same people arguing for this ban will also look you dead in your eye and say they support the second amendment. They're psychos, if you ask me. But like I say, there's no such thing as common sense gun laws or reasonable gun laws because to the anti-gun lobby, every gun law is reasonable and they will never stop. Laws already existed banning 18 to 21 year olds from owning a handgun. Now they're trying to ban them from owning a rifle, all while trying to ban the most popular rifle in the country to be banned completely. Their end game is a total ban on guns. We just need to accept that. But thankfully, the most recent two-way Supreme Court decision has done wonders to undo a lot of the gun control nonsense that the anti-gun lobby has passed. And this case is a prime example of it. I don't have much faith that an appeal will be successful, but our anti-gun administration will try anyway because the last thing they wanna do is give up any control. Because remember, it's not about keeping you safe. It's about selling you safety so that they can control you. Before you click the link in the description section of this video to take advantage of the holiday sale at shop.mrcoleonnoir.com, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell symbol so you get notified whenever I release my videos. And leave a comment letting me know what you think of this new ruling.